Welcome to Farming Aid YouTube channel, where we bring you essential insights into major diseases of beef farming and their preventions. Beef farming is a crucial agricultural sector that provides meat to millions of people worldwide. However, raising healthy cattle comes with challenges, especially the risk of diseases that can affect growth rates, reproduction, and overall profitability. Various infectious and non-infectious diseases can threaten beef cattle, leading to economic losses for farmers. Understanding these diseases and implementing effective prevention strategies is essential for sustainable beef farming. Diseases in beef cattle arise due to bacteria, viruses, parasites, and environmental factors. Many of these illnesses spread through direct contact, contaminated feed and water, vectors like insects, or poor management practices. Therefore, farmers must take proactive steps to reduce disease risks, including vaccination, biosecurity measures, proper nutrition, and good husbandry practices. One of the most common and economically significant diseases affecting beef cattle is bovine respiratory disease, BRD. This disease is often referred to as shipping fever because it commonly affects cattle after transportation stress. BRD is a complex condition caused by a combination of viral and bacterial pathogens, including bovine respiratory syncytial virus, BRSV, bovine herpes virus, 1, BHV, 1, and bacteria like Mannheimia hemolytica and Pastorella multicida. The symptoms include coughing, nasal discharge, fever, and difficulty breathing. If not managed properly, BRD can cause significant mortality, reduce growth rates, and increase production costs due to veterinary treatments. Preventing BRD involves minimizing stress, ensuring proper vaccination before transportation, and providing good ventilation in housing facilities. Preconditioning programs, which include vaccination, weaning management, and proper nutrition, help cattle build immunity before being moved to feedlots. Another serious disease in beef cattle is bovine viral diarrhea, BVD, a viral disease caused by the bovine viral diarrhea virus. BVD affects multiple body systems, leading to immunosuppression, reproductive failure, and gastrointestinal symptoms such as diarrhea and weight loss. Infected cattle may also suffer from respiratory issues, making them more susceptible to secondary infections. BVD spreads through direct contact with infected animals, contaminated equipment, and the introduction of persistently infected, PI, animals into a herd. To prevent BVD, farmers should implement strict biosecurity measures, including testing new animals before introducing them to the herd. Vaccination is a key prevention tool, helping to reduce the spread and impact of the virus. Removing PI animals from the herd is essential for long-term disease control. Blackleg is another deadly disease that affects young beef cattle, primarily those between 6 months and 2 years old. It is caused by the bacterium Clostridium chauvoi, which produces toxins that lead to rapid muscle necrosis and death. The disease is often found in cattle grazing on pasture where spores of the bacteria reside in the soil. When cattle ingest these spores or suffer wounds that allow bacterial entry, they develop blackleg. Affected animals typically show sudden lameness, swelling in affected muscles, fever, and rapid deterioration. Since blackleg progresses quickly and has a high mortality rate, prevention is more effective than treatment. The best prevention method is vaccinating calves at a young age, typically around 2 to 6 months, with a booster dose given later. Additionally, proper disposal of dead animals and maintaining good pasture management practices help reduce the presence of spores in the environment. John's disease is a chronic wasting disease that affects the intestines of cattle, caused by Mycobacterium avium subspecies paratuberculosis, MAP. This disease leads to severe diarrhea, weight loss, and decreased milk production in infected animals. John's disease spreads through contaminated feed, water, and fecal material, and it can persist in the environment for years. Because symptoms take a long time to appear, many infected animals spread the disease before they show signs. Prevention involves maintaining strict biosecurity, testing animals to identify carriers, and ensuring that newborn calves are protected from contaminated manure. 
Proper sanitation of feeding and watering areas and avoiding overcrowding also help reduce the risk of John's disease. There is no effective treatment, so control relies on culling infected animals and preventing new infections in young stock. Bovine tuberculosis, TB, is another chronic disease that poses a significant challenge in beef farming. Caused by Mycobacterium bovis, this bacterial infection primarily affects the lungs, leading to coughing, weight loss, and reduced productivity. TB can spread from cattle to humans, making it a zoonotic disease that requires strict control measures. The disease is transmitted through direct contact with infected animals, contaminated feed and water, and inhalation of bacteria in enclosed spaces. In many countries, government programs oversee testing and eradication efforts to prevent the spread of TB. Farmers can protect their herds by ensuring new animals are tested before being introduced to the herd, improving ventilation in barns, and maintaining overall herd health to boost immunity. Leptospirosis is another bacterial disease that affects beef cattle, leading to abortion, reduced fertility, kidney damage, and general weakness. It is caused by various species of Leptospira bacteria and spreads through contaminated water, urine, and infected wildlife. Cattle in wet environments, such as pastures near rivers or swamps, are at higher risk. Symptoms of leptospirosis include fever, jaundice, reduced milk production, and reproductive failure. To prevent the disease, farmers should implement vaccination programs, control rodent populations, and ensure cattle have access to clean drinking water. Good drainage systems and minimizing contact with wildlife carriers also help reduce the risk of leptospirosis outbreaks. Foot and mouth disease, FMD, is a highly contagious viral disease that affects cattle, causing fever, blisters on the mouth and hooves, and reduced appetite. This disease spreads rapidly among herds and can cause significant economic losses due to trade restrictions and reduced meat and milk production. Countries with FMD-free status enforce strict regulations to prevent outbreaks, including import restrictions and quarantine measures. Prevention strategies include vaccination programs in endemic areas, strict biosecurity protocols to prevent disease entry, and rapid response plans in case of an outbreak. Farmers should ensure that visitors and new livestock do not introduce the virus into their herds by maintaining quarantine areas for new arrivals. Another concerning disease in beef farming is brucellosis, a bacterial infection caused by brucella species. It primarily affects the reproductive system, leading to abortions, stillbirths, and infertility in infected cows. Brucellosis can also spread to humans through direct contact with infected animals or consumption of unpasteurized dairy products. The disease spreads through infected birth fluids, contaminated feed, and close contact among animals. Many countries have eradication programs that involve regular testing, culling infected animals, and strict movement controls. Farmers should follow government guidelines on brucellosis testing, use proper hygiene when handling newborn calves and aborted fetuses, and vaccinate cattle where recommended. Parasitic infections also pose a major threat to beef cattle health. Internal parasites such as worms, e.g., ostertagia, coperia, and liver flukes, and external parasites like ticks and flies cause significant losses in weight gain and overall productivity. Heavy parasite infestations lead to anemia, diarrhea, reduced feed conversion efficiency, and even death in severe cases. Preventing parasitic infections requires an integrated approach, including rotational grazing, strategic deworming, and maintaining clean housing conditions. Farmers should conduct regular fecal tests to determine parasite burdens and use targeted treatment rather than unnecessary blanket deworming, which can lead to resistance. Controlling external parasites involves using insecticidal sprays, ear tags, and pasture management strategies to reduce tick and fly populations. Good herd management practices play a crucial role in disease prevention. Farmers should ensure proper nutrition to boost cattle immunity, as malnourished animals are more susceptible to diseases. Providing a balanced diet rich in essential minerals and vitamins helps strengthen the immune system and supports. Overall growth and reproduction. 
Clean water sources must be maintained to prevent waterborne diseases, and overcrowding should be avoided to reduce stress and disease transmission. Regular veterinary checkups allow early detection of health issues and provide opportunities for preventive care, including vaccination and deworming programs. Biosecurity measures are essential to keeping a beef herd disease-free. Farmers should have strict protocols for visitors, vehicle movement, and new animal introductions. Quarantining new arrivals for a period before mixing them with the main herd helps prevent the introduction of diseases. Equipment and tools should be disinfected regularly, and workers should follow hygiene practices such as washing hands and changing clothes after handling sick animals. Vaccination remains one of the most effective tools for disease prevention in beef farming. A well-planned vaccination schedule helps protect cattle from major infectious diseases and reduces the severity of outbreaks. Farmers should consult veterinarians to develop a vaccination plan tailored to their region and herd needs. Common vaccines include those for BVD, BRD complex, leptospirosis, blackleg, and clostridial diseases. Proper storage and administration of vaccines are important to ensure effectiveness. When we conclude, keeping your beef cattle healthy is the foundation of a successful and profitable farm. As we've seen, diseases can have a devastating impact, but with the right prevention strategies, like proper vaccination, biosecurity measures, and good nutrition, you can protect your herd and minimize risks. Prevention is always more effective and cost-efficient than treatment, so staying proactive is key. By investing in herd health, you're not just reducing losses, you're ensuring better growth, higher productivity, and a thriving farm. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more tips on beef farming. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.